Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sam Schultz, joined by Sandy Rios. We have a special guest in the <laughs> box with us for this mixed pro semifinals. Lalo Portillo and Alexandria Herrera versus Camarado Moscoso and Paola Longoria. Sandy, great to have you in the box with us. What is your take on this match? Okay, well, just looking at it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Moscoso and Longoria. However, it is mixed doubles. Everything changes on the doubles court. Um, it's going to be a matter of, and their Herrera is going to prove me wrong. It's going to be a matchup. I, I'm going to say which of the girls can handle the power and the speed of the men the best. Camarado, we know one of the hardest hitters on tour. Lalo Portillo, not necessarily known for his hard hitting, but he has some very unorthodox shots that will definitely catch his opponents by surprise. Right. And then we have Longoria, who is the most consistent player. Her shots are not spectacular. I mean, they're not, they're not unusual. They're classic, but they're totally consistent. Um, and then we've got Herrera, the lefty, and she's got one of the best pinches in that left front corner with her forehand. So it's just going to be a matter of who can hold their game best and who can handle the power. And what do you think about that right there? Paola Longoria lob-serving cross-court to Alexandria Herrera. Oh, it's going it, it makes them think. Because she knows what Herrera's going to do. They just finished playing each other. The girls are going to go after each other until they can't anymore, right? And that's the one thing that, that Lalo uh, Portillo's going to have to not do. He can't pinch to Moscoso. Yeah, Moscoso extremely quick. He'll be able to cover that pinch very well. Great shot right there by Herrera. We'll see what kind of serve Moscoso. It looks like he's going to go for the drive. This will set up a drive to drive. See the weak return there by Herrera. Moscoso served very hard to deal with. Yes, but it did go to Longoria, who didn't do a whole lot with it. So if she can continue to do that. That time Longoria let it go, wrap around to Camarado mm -hmm. smartly. Three serving one, Longoria and Moscoso on top early. Oh, and there an excellent return. Longoria just could not even get a racket on that one. Nice ceiling ball. And as I said, once in mixed, Normally when one guy starts driving to the girl, the other guy's going to do the same. Yeah, it opens the floodgates, per it se. Does. Good lob Z to Longoria there. And there we see the classic Herrera pinch. She's got to use that. She's got to force Moscoso over, which will then open up the entire court for her. Longoria doing a good job handling Lalo quite well. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. great shot right there by Paola Longoria. Very nice. Our head official for this match is Jaime Martel. Camarado stepping over to shoot this one. And there Herrera took her time. Now the power was there, but she took her time, waited patiently, and let the ball put it down. And that's what she's going to have to do. And I like the shot selection by Herrera. That was the right shot. 
She just missed it. Four serving two now. Camarado. Half lob to Herrera. Saw him go to the drive early. Hasn't gone back to it. And that's a good call. That's a good call. It was a safety, more of a safety hold up than um, a penalty hinder. I like that. Yeah, if Camarado would have stepped back on that one and had a little bit more of a shooting lane in pair, then we could have maybe seen a penalty hinder. And there we did have the penalty hinder. Or replay. No, they did do a replay on that, didn't they? They did. Replay hinder there. Short serve. Saw a couple of those from Camarado in his singles match against Adam Mania. Short lob serves leading to a double fall. Uncharacteristic for Camarado. Very interesting. Well, and he should be, altitude should not even be in the, in the, in the question for him. It's not even in the picture. He's used to this. Herrera now lob serving to Longoria. Yeah, that was the only way that wasn't going to roll out was if he skipped it. Yeah, great shot selection right there by Conrado Moscoso. Longoria serving at 4 2. And they are beautiful, beautiful pinch. That is. Herrera's shot. That is classic Herrera. She does that better than anyone. Find it interesting that Camarado is just not blasting the ball at Herrera on the serves as he started doing to start the game. Nice from a, well, she didn't she didn't miff him. She returned him. So he really wasn't getting what he wanted out of it. So let's be a little more strategic. Camarado stepped up to cut that one off. Wow, great get by Camarado Moscoso. And a good call. I mean, it was it was one of those, I'm going to stand here and just not get hit by the ball and then duck in time and hope you don't see it and swing at it, right? Good move on Herrera to take the, the screen. Yeah, but a really savvy move, too, on Camarado. Oh, absolutely. Let's see if Herrera, she's gonna, she's gonna stay on her side. Oh no, she's not, she's gonna go to Longoria. Lalo behind the back, ends up working out in the end. Well, he caught a crack over here on the right hand side, which. Skip oh. ball right there by Herrera. Only the second one she's skipped so far today. She's been pretty much on point with that shot. Herrera brings it down well. Set up for Camarado, center of the court. Nice turn for Herrera, nice get. Camarado take two. It's gonna take at least three. And the third time <laughs> is a charm for yeah. Camarado Moscoso.
Oh. He wants that one back. And I find it interesting, the majority of the shots for Longoria Moscoso are coming off of Moscoso's racket. But it's the reverse with Portillo and Herrera, where most of the shots are coming off of Herrera. Yeah, and Herrera's doing a good job so far being able to keep up mm -hmm. with the power of Camarado Moscoso. Exactly, she's doing a very good job. Camarado that time steps over to cut it off. Portillo all over the court, so is Moscoso. Lalo, beautiful backhand nice. reverse pinch. Brings it up to four, serving five. Good get right there by Camarado. Around the world he goes. Wow. Can't call a hinder on your own partner, but if you could, Lalo would call one right there mm -hmm. on Alexandria Herrera. And I'm not sure he should have pushed her out of the way to take that shot. Great yeah. shot right there by Paola Longoria. Loose serve by Herrera. Gave Longoria way too much room. So Longoria serving now. She'll most likely keep going cross court to Herrera. Skip ball called by our referee. No line judges. In the corner of Camarado and Paola is Fran Davis. She is saying don't worry about it. And in the corner of Portillo and Herrera is Team Dovetail owner, Mike Kinkin. Nice, nice flat pinch there by Longoria. Six serves four. Lalo tried to read that and anticipate. <laughs> Camarado just shooting it where Lalo was not. Well, Lalo was looking for the pinch and it went straight up the middle. Yeah, and Herrera, she's returning the serve, but she's not returning the serve well. She's basically hitting it so hard that it's coming off the back wall and setting Portillo up. Yeah, I, I mean, Moscoso up. Yeah, and Lalo Portillo and Alexandria Herrera will take a timeout. We will too. We'll be right back here on IRT Live. Looks like you've been sleeping well. Megan, he's back. The my pillow guy. And you're looking good. I'm still feeling good. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we've got the best pillow ever. My pillow 2.0. When I invented my pillow, it had everything you'd ever want in a pillow. Well, now there's new technology that makes it even better. My pillow 2.0 has my patented fill combined with a cooling fabric with temperature regulating thread. My pillow 2.0 is truly the next generation of my pillow. The best sleep just got even better. Whether you have a MyPillow or not, you need to get the brand new MyPillow 2.0. Call or go to MyPillow.com now. Use your promo code, and for a limited time when you buy one, you'll get a second one absolutely free. You're sleeping even better. And cooler, too. And you're looking good. Feeling, Feeling good. good. I knew you would. Visit MyPillow.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. First time out taken by Alexandria Herrera and Lalo Portillo. They have two left. We are playing USAR rules. They are trailing four to eight. Camarado and Paola leading. Another setup for Lalo Portillo. He was able to put that one away. He just drilled it in the front wall, didn't care where anybody was. Yeah, he had a setup earlier with the whole left hand side open. Went for a pinch, maybe ill advised. Oh. Great shot right there by Conrado Moscoso. A little help from the crack in the back corner. Uh, I think he knew what he was doing, Sandy. He was aiming for it. Yeah. <laughs>
So Paola Longoria and Camarado Moscoso get the serve back. No damage done on the side out. And the problem with Herrera is she's not getting a good return. She's, taking, she's going for her pinch. It's not great. But even if it's good, Longoria is standing there waiting on it. Yeah, she could go up to the ceiling instead, as she does there, and force Paola and Conrado back. Exactly. See that working right there. Good smart racquetball played by Herrera. Yeah, but she didn't listen to what she just did. She didn't pay attention to what worked the, the shot before. Right, now with the different server, she still has to keep the same mindset of going up top to Paola. Mm -hmm. And I think here you see Portillo doing just a little too much, going for just a little too low and, and just skipping it in. Now 11 serving four, commanding lead for Longoria and Moscoso. Lalo stepping over, cutting a lot of balls off that Herrera could take with her forehand. Oh, and skip that one too. I think he's, you know, I, I don't have a problem with him stepping over and taking some of those shots, but when he has a setup like that, he can't miss. You're down 12-4, you can't miss those. They're not coming that very often, and you certainly can't miss them when you get them. Great shot right there by Herrera cross court. Her pinch worked early but had gotten predictable. Now she chooses to go cross court smartly. Gets Portillo and herself back in the box. Set up Camarado front of the court. Oh, right down the middle. Middle is the weakness when you have a lefty righty. Well, and with his pinch, both, both corners were covered, but left the middle wide open. Yeah, and I know Herrera, between Herrera and Portillo, is the weaker player, but I'm surprised we haven't seen more stuff down the middle, Sandy. They've still been shooting lines, still been serving to Herrera's forehand instead mm -hmm. of going down the middle. Yeah, well, it... Maybe show they, they evidently have a lot of confidence in their ability to handle her forehand, right? Yeah, and so far working. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Right. Yeah, and there's just pure power shot down by Moscoso. Yeah, pure power, pure accuracy by Conrado Moscoso. Two points away now from taking game one. Great hands in the front of the court by Conrado Moscoso, proving he's not only very powerful, but very agile as well. And I think the fact that Herrera's going cross court is fine. She's going to Longoria, but they're short and they're coming. She's hitting them into the side wall. They're coming right off into Longoria. And she's, you know, she's putting them down. Yeah, that one a good splat off of the forehand of mm -hmm. Alexandria Herrera. So game point opportunity number two coming from Moscoso and Longoria. Great shot nice right there shot by Alexandria Herrera. Clutch shot for her. Two bounces called. Yep. Excellent return from Longoria on that. Camarado dashing across the court. Just a little touch in the corner and down. He's got excellent hands as well as some 
awesome speed and power. So Longoria serving for game point number three. See if Herrera can fend off another. This might be a mistake to Camarado's backhand. It was, Camarado puts it away. Moscoso and Longoria will take game one, 15-4. We'll take a short two minute break and we'll be back here on IRT Live. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today we're in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at kwmgutterman.com. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marvel. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2023 World Singles and Doubles Open Championships sponsored by KWM Gutterman. We have mixed pro semifinals here. Longoria and Moscoso took game one over Portillo and Herrera. My name's Sam Schultz, joined by Sandy Rios doing a little bit of cross broadcasting with the <laughs> LPRT. Sandy, what does Herrera and Portillo have to change if they want to force a tiebreaker? One, they've got to be able to put the ball down when they have their shots, like that. They've got to quit skipping the ball. They need to keep it away from Moscoso. They're gonna to have to make Longoria take the shot. It's not a guarantee, she's an excellent player, but they've got to do their best to keep it away from Moscoso. Like the little change, a Z serve from Lalo Portillo. And, and there's and there's another instance right there. He had the, the the pinch in the corner and missed it. Good get by Herrera. Skipped in right there. Right, but a smart shot. Everybody's looking for the pinch. Everybody's looking for cross court or down this forehand line on the right side. And she went right up the middle. Another miss by Lalo. Two unforced errors early by Eduardo Portillo. And those. Those are the things he cannot do. He cannot be skipping shots like that. Just a replay called Lalo running into Camarado Moscoso. Excellent coverage right there by Paola Longoria. Yeah, Lalo just couldn't duck, couldn't duck low enough on that one.
Another setup for Lalo. See if he can take advantage of this one. He does. Yes. But that's what he's he's got to do that. It's, it's mixed. He's got to go after Longoria because she is all not weak. She is the weaker of that team. We'll have a safety hold replay there. Great get right there by Lalo Portillo, but a setup for Camarado. Oh, um, little miscommunication there, but a great stabbing get by Herrera on that shot from Moscoso. Yeah, great get by Herrera. We see just a little bit of a miscommunication between Longoria and Camarado. And there you saw the cross court from Herrera a little deeper at Longoria, farther back in the court, and that's what she's gonna have to do. That has to keep Longoria deeper. Oh, great. there a nice shot by Herrera. Yeah, great shot right there by Alexandria Herrera. Herrera and Portillo out to an early lead, three serving one, see if they can extend it here. Lalo all over the place. Court coverage is a specialty of his. And a replay called. Well, and Portillo and Herrera had Moscoso on the floor. And they didn't hit a very good shot. They, they could have easily gone down the line. Made Longoria run for it. She was on the right side. Go down that left side. He's on the floor. He's not going to be able to get to it. Yeah, they were playing two on one while Conrado was down, just didn't take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Uncharacteristic skip right there by Conrado Moscoso. Gives Herrera and Portilla point four. That time Conrado does what Conrado does best with his backhand down the line. Lalo hanging in the air as if he was levitating <laughs> over the shot of Conrado Moscoso. Nice little flick by Herrera there. Just enough backhand to put it down. Yeah, and once again, Moscoso and Longoria go to the serve with no damage done. Portillo and Herrera able to fend them off. Last go around, they didn't do damage themselves, this time trying to score some more points. Yeah, and Portillo, he's getting the shots against Longoria but he's hitting them hard enough that they're coming off the back wall. Longoria is going to get those. That's, you know, she's too good to not. Yeah, and if any player should be extra sharp right now, it would be Eduardo Portillo, as Camarado just came off of playing Adam Mania, and Herrera and Longoria just played each other. Right. Lalo Portillo, the only player in the court to have not come off of a match yet today. 
Well, and maybe that's why he's not hitting as well. He's, the others are well, you know, the other three are very well warmed up. Yeah, and we see a timeout taken by Conrado Moscoso. It's just an equipment timeout, so they'll quickly get back to the court. Six serving one, Herrera in the service box. Playing by USAR rules, that should be a timeout charged to Camarado and Longoria, correct? Yes. You make me stop and think, yes. Avoidable call. Yeah, it's it was close, but yes, he was right there ready to swing. And Lalo's legs were right in the way. Great shot right there by Alexandria Herrera. Yeah, the serve was short, and Herrera cut it off, put it right in the corner. So Camarado now to serve. He'll get down to drive serve stance and try to get some points on the board for his team. There's a nice pinch by Portillo. And once again, Moscoso and Longoria out of the service box, no point scored. And I love that L Lalo Portillo is taking that shot down the middle where both of their backhands are. Just don't love where Alexandria Herrera positions herself. She runs all the way to that side wall time and time again. So if Lalo doesn't hit a perfect shot, she is out of position. Mm -hmm. Right there is a replay called. Yeah, and not a good serve by Herrera. Portillo standing at the encroachment line with the corner right there. We see Fran Davis, she wanted to relay some information to Paola and Conrado. To no avail as neither one looked at them. However, Lalo Portillo skipping that ball. And there again, Lalo, he cannot afford to make those kind of mistakes. Yeah, Longoria and Moscoso heating up now. Trying to remember the recipe for success, which they had in game number one. And there Herrera, another nice forehand into that corner. She's got to find that corner consistently. Great shot right there by Paola Longoria. That ball just coming off the back wall, giving her enough room to take a full swing. Replay. So another point for Longoria and Moscoso. Now five, serving six. See if Herrera and Portillo can stop the bleeding here. With a little help from Moscoso, yes, they did. So we've got Herrera and Portillo back in the box, six, five. And another time of miscommunication from Moscoso oh and Longoria. Twice they miscommunicated. Twice they pulled it out. Yeah, 
and Herrera, she needs to go back to serving to Longoria. She's not going to have. She's not having good serves. No success on this side against Moscoso. Now you see the Longoria serving to Portillo. And a quick appeal will come on two bounces, and but we don't have line judges, so no appeal will come. Right. Now, being as it's USAR, they can request line judges. Correct. They can request line judges, but because it is not LPRT or IRT, normally we do line judges in the IRT quarterfinals and on. But it's a simple, it's a simple request. Simple request takes pressure off of the referee, takes pressure off of the player's mental games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, obviously, what is this? This is quarterfinal. Semifinals. Semifinals. So this is this is an important match. You know, it's not like we're down in the round of 16s. This is, the, you know, semifinal, and they should, you know, if there's a question. Moscoso between the legs. Yeah. Left it up just enough, and Herrera stepped in and put the ball down. That's what they have to do if they're going to make the, take this to the tiebreaker. And that time Moscoso stepped up, answering the call. Six serving six. Herrera and Patillo out to a lead early. It was 6-1. Moscoso and Longoria have since battled back. Skip ball right there by Longoria. Well, and this is a crucial point. Herrera and Portillo need to get some points on the board. Yeah, Moscoso and Longoria have the momentum despite the multitude of side outs. Portillo all over the court right there. Well, covering for Alexandria Herrera. He's going to have to. Ah, and Herrera just rushing that shot a little bit. This time Longoria goes up top. Lalo rushing into it. And no avoidable awarded. Oh. They don't seem to complain too much. I know if it was me, I probably would be. Nice shot there by Portillo. Yeah, great shot right there by Lalo Portillo. Moscoso serving, mid-lob Nick. I love that Moscoso and Longoria keep going up top to Herrera. Yes. Good strategy by them. Oh, it's excellent strategy. They're basically taking Portillo out of the match. Now, taking Portillo out of the match, causing Portillo to creep over more and more to the middle of the court than when they have him in the middle. Camarado Moscoso goes down that right side as he did right there. Jumping is Portillo to get that ball. Herrera, good get in the back of the court. Great get by Lalo Portillo and Alexandria Herrera. Well, you see them trying to force the action up front, but unfortunately, when you know how to force the action, you don't know how to defend against the action, as you saw from Moscoso.
Great battle of the hands up front. Longoria and Portillo going at it. Great shot right there by Conrado Moscoso. Turning around, forehand, reverse pinch winner. Awards them point number nine. And a point called can't appeal. Once again, they can ask for line judges. Must be the second or third call they've disagreed with, Sandy, yet no request for line judges has come. And you know they know the rules. I would at least hope so. I would hope so. And they're an, an excellent shot from Herrera. They've now got, they've got to get some momentum back. They've got to, they have to score now. This is... As we mentioned earlier on the other broadcast, this is a crucial point. If Herrera and Portillo cannot score now, their road is going to be extremely difficult. Great get by Conrado right there. Sliding get by Conrado. Shoots while sliding. It's an amazing rally right here on his knees. Oh, and just, just skipped in by Alexandria Herrera. Conrado Moscoso two or three times went down to his knees, shooting the ball time and time again. And Herrera had this shot. It looked like she rushed it just a little bit. You know, it's like the fourth or fifth time she's hit it in this rally, and she just rushed it a little bit. Jaime Martel, the head official, just getting them to wipe up the court there. Want to make sure the playing area is safe. Herrera's going to that half lob to the middle, although Conrado can just step over and take it with his forehand. If any team has to do that mid to high lob to the middle, it would be the team of Conrado and Longoria. Yes, because it, it, it's not far enough over to Longoria. It's, you know, Moscoso takes a half a step and he's there. Yes, that is truly a lob to the middle, not a lob to the right. Mm -hmm. Herrera yeah, needs to start in. getting that over all the way to the right side, even though that worked for Herrera and Portillo. Well, and it's, it's working because now we're up to nine serving 10. So they've scored two on it, a point where they needed, they had to score. They had to score. Herrera now, we'll see if she sticks with it. She does. Around the world went Camarado Moscoso. But it never hit. I, it yeah, didn't. never hit the front wall right there. Timeout taken by Peolo Longoria and Camarado Moscoso. We'll take a timeout too. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here in 30 seconds on IRT Live. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 
We are halfway through game number two in a tight one, 10-10 on the IRT stream. Sandy Rios, do we have an update from the other mixed semifinals over on the LPRT court? We do. We have game one going to Munoz and Natira over Mar and Mejia, 15-9, I believe. Currently in game two over there. They're just starting game two. They will be starting game two shortly. They literally just finished it. And there is the one thing that Portillo cannot do. Lalo cannot skip those setups. Because it, you have to hit those. Those are the gimmies he has to make in order to force this to a tiebreaker. Yeah. And that's a good call by Martel. Herrera's been taking the She's been cutting those off. And she went to cut it off. And Moscoso was right in front of her. It's a good call. Yeah, good call by Jaime Martel. You can tell Herrera is comfortable stepping up, cutting those off. Going up top. Don't love that from Herrera. Set up Moscoso. Yeah, but it worked out well. It worked out well. Moscoso didn't put it down. Lalo pushed it over to Longoria, and she was unable to return the ball. No damage done. Herrera Portillo back in the box at 10-10. Nice return there by Longoria. Didn't look like she was going to make it. Yeah, great return by Paola Longoria right there. Another lob serve to the middle. I'm going to have a replay. It looked like a little screen there. Yeah, and that lob serve is right in Camarado Moscoso's wheelhouse as he goes again right there. Oh, and Herrera was there for that one. She just missed it. See if the timeout helps Paola and Camarado. What adjustments they have made. What wisdom has Fran Davis imparted in them? Up top, Camarado racing back. And Lalo uh, Portillo kicking himself for that. Yeah, that was set up so perfectly. They had Moscoso in the back. They had Longoria out of position. Behind the back, great shot by Camarado Moscoso. Racing to the back of the court now. Oh, good get by Herrera. Wow, amazing shot right there by Conrado Moscoso. Two-thirds of the earth is covered by water. The other third, Conrado Moscoso. They'll take a timeout here. We'll see a replay before we take one right here. Great gets by Conrado, racing to the back of the court, shooting this one off the back wall, and then Conrado rushing forward, putting it away. Nothing. Herrera Portillo could do. We'll take a short 30 minute break. We'll be right back here on IRT Live. John Story joined the US military, was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February, 2014. The biggest thing we wanna to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever-increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the Donate Now button and help us fulfill our mission. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have a game for you? Herrera and Portillo just took a timeout. Conrado Moscoso and Perla Longoria leading this one 12 to 10. They took the first game 15 to four. Fran Davis in their corner trying to make the correct adjustments in the corner of Portillo and Herrera is the team dovetail owner of Mike Kinkin. See if they've made any adjustments, Portillo and Herrera, to get the serve back here. Oh. 
set up. Conrado up front. Lalo unable to get that one, but Herrera does. Great gets Camarado. I don't know what he was doing. He thought it was over. <laughs> I don't either. He was back in the corner walking back, and the ball's still alive. Ball was alive. Lalo and Alexandria won that rally. One down, one to go to get back in the box. See what serve Camarado Moscoso chooses to go with here. Replay called. Camarado just having to reach around Ex Alexandria Herrera. It's not a bad, not a bad replay. But he's doing this half lob to Herrera. It's excellent. It's not coming off the back wall. I would stay with it. She's really not doing a whole lot with it. Ugh. And when she does return it, you know, if she does have a return, she's basically having to go back down the line with it. Yeah, Portillo and Herrera in the box. Timeout work. They got back in the box, giving up no points. Longoria right there, really close to the encroachment line. And just a replay called Lalo hit Camarado Moscoso. Great hands by Lalo just to get a racket on that one at the front wall. Paola set up on the right side. And Lalo Portillo's racket comes untied as he threw it at that ball. Tie it back into place. So even if Lalo Portillo had gotten that ball because his equipment came off of his body, it would have been a point, or I should say half out, in favor of Longoria and Moscoso. Mm -hmm. Still don't love that serve by uh, no. Herrera. It's, it's, not a, it's not a smart serve when you've got Moscoso just standing there because he can pick whatever corner he wants. He can go down the line right at Herrera. Set up front court. Oh, good sliding get by Conrado. It just doesn't make it back to the front wall. So it'll be Conrado to the serve. 12 serving 10. And after this, we have Daniel De La Rosa and Jake Bredenbeck as our next match here on IRT Live. Don't go anywhere after this one. Pull it up on your TVs. Do a split screen on your computer. Watch the LPRT, IRT. Can't get enough racquetball all weekend long. No, you're not going to see it any better anywhere else, that's for sure. Camarado set up right side, put yeah. down beautifully. And match point opportunity number one here for Moscoso and Longardia. Lalo nice. tracks that one beautifully. Well done by Patrillo. All right, this is crush time for them. They have, if they don't score now, the match will be over. Absolutely. Lob serve by Portillo. Still not blasting it at Longoria. And Conrado calling off Paola Longoria. That's a good call. Would love to see a change of serve here by Alexandria Herrera. Yeah. 
And, and that, was, that was the worst one she's hit yet. So match point opportunity number two for Longoria and Moscoso. It took them three game points to take game number one. Here trying to take game two and end it. Two bounces called, that is the match. There it is. Paola Longoria and Camarado Moscoso move on 15-4, 15-10. They will take on the winner of Javier Mar Monse Mejia and Carla Munoz and Alan Natera. So for Sam Schultz, our special guest, it was an uh, honor, Sandy Rios. You, Sam. Our production team, Pablo Farhe and Rodrigo Mendoza. We are signing off, don't go anywhere. We will have Jake Bredenbeck and Daniel De La Rosa here in about 15 minutes on IRT Live.